behind that round five sign is Ruben scoring. Yes, I've got it scored 39 to 37 in favor of the real Paul Bank. After four rounds. It appears that Zaragoza did not suffer any further injury to the cut outside the left eye during round four. Banky has been the aggressor most of the fight. And that should not surprise you. Oh, there's another cut, Chick, over the right eye of Daniel Zaragoza. And is bleeding quite profusely, coming down to his cheek. It might be very near the eyeball, in fact. It's very close. And the referee, John Thomas, takes a close look and says, fight on. But between rounds, I think we'll probably have another look at from the doctor. It's bleeding more profusely as the seconds tick by. The champion is in trouble in more ways than one. Zaragoza on the unofficial card that is kept at our broadcast desk is behind, and he now has a cut outside either eye, and he suffers a sharp blow to the jaw. And the youngster Paul Banke moving in for what could be a possibility of wearing a championship belt for the first time in his life outside of the $225,000 Super Bantamweight Tournament of the Great Western Forum. Zaragoza's eye is in serious trouble, ladies and gentlemen. It's right in the eyelid, Chick, yep. and that's the worst place a cut could possibly be. It does not look good at all. And John Thomas is keeping a close look at it. He's trying to let the round end. We've got a minute and about uh, 10 seconds left to go before the round will end. He wants the doctors to take a look at it. He could call timeout now and have them do that if he so desired. He's one of the most efficient and uh, outstanding referees the game knows. Zaragoza fighting back. The blood now is streaming right down over the eyeball on the right side of the face of Zaragoza. Check it. I can't believe I'm watching Paul Banky just pose. He's got him cut profusely, bleeding profusely, and he's just posing. He did the same thing in the fight that he lost, but here he starts to apply some pressure, indicating that he might have hurt you with a transistor. Right and left, Banky. Zaragoza fighting for his life and his title. We're in the final 30 seconds of the round. It's going to be interesting to see what the doctors say when they look at that cut. You can never tell just because there's a lot of blood, folks. It's where the cut is and what the prospects are of, you know, lifelong injury. Oh, Park has got nailed with a left oh, hand. And I'll say he did. Banky is hurt. What a great champion Zaragoza is. Over to the corner now as the crowd applauds. Zaragoza, you got a brief look, and that's enough. I'm glad you didn't see any more of that cut. Here comes the doctor, Dr. Bernard Schwartz. Listen. You what? I think they can stop believing in the chair, though. Now, John Thomas, the referee, said to the doctor, I think they can stop the bleeding. The doctor, the head. Huh? he's lucky the it's head. on the side right now. Okay. If it gets All in right. the middle, call me, we'll stop okay. it. All right. What the, hell? the judges didn't see it, so I didn't see now it. Now, the man is saying to the referee is that it was a butt. I don't know. It's very often a cop out. Very often. And the referee very honestly said, I didn't see it, and neither did any of the judges. Let's go over to Banky's corner. That's right. He asked the judges if they see the cut. I mean, Banky. I mean, the cut. Just at the end of the round, Banky was shaken up. Although the cut is as severe as it is, I gave Zara goes of the round because he applied more pressure and landed more shots. Paul is posing too much, Chick. So you got Banky leading? Still, one the two, a, a two fighters look at each other, hold their hands out as though to say, doggone it, I hope this thing doesn't get stopped by cuts. With the timeout call, there's a little confusion in the timing. So we're ready to go. The bell has sounded. We're in round number six. A two-point lead on the unofficial scorecard of Ruben Castillo. What do you got, one point? Yeah, one point, 48-47. All right, all right, go on. Paul's got to pick up. He better not do any posing against this guy. There's three great shots in a row by Zaragoza. 
standing punches with the right hand. Just like you said earlier, Chick, those are marks of a great champion. Yep. Blood, but battered and bleeding and everything, he still come back with some good shots. Remember, this is his sixth title defense. Not many guys can defend a title that much. Oh! So far, Zaragoza has taken everything that he's been handed. No knockdowns yet. Oh, that cut is absolutely awful, Chick. On the right eye of Zaragoza. They may have to stop this thing. There was no butt involved. The referee answered that question to the corner already of Zaragoza. And here comes Zaragoza back with her left hand. The two softballs. You may beat Zaragoza and you may not, but I'll tell you one thing, you'll never have a bigger heart. Never. This guy's only 122 pounder. And he's got a heart bigger in his body. God, look at that cut, Chick. Unbelievable. Right on the cut. The left hand landed right on that cut. in round six. I'll tell you, the face of Banky is not unscathed. It's all puffy and a little bit of blood. Chick, I don't think that doctor will allow this fight to go very much further. That's an awful cut. You'll look at it again between rounds, that's for sure. If, if Banky can stage a rally here, Chick, I think they'll stop it. 30 seconds left. There you go, there's a right hand. And another right and a couple of shots to the bread basket. And Zaragoza takes a left right on the cut. Zaragoza fighting back. And Banky pursuing on the rope. That's just about the spot in the ring where he was knocked down in the fight in June. Zaragoza went down. Now there's a cut in the corner of the right eye of Banky. You can't have this kind of punching without getting cut, folks. That's the end of the round. Zaragoza warily takes his mouthpiece out. The applause filling the Great Western Forum, and I think it's for both men. I think you're absolutely right. They've, they have fought their hearts out for six complete rounds. They have not asked the doctors to come back in. Oh, Referee okay, John Thomas has not signaled for a timeout to bring the doctor in. The doctor is standing on the floor outside of the ring and looking up, listen. You want to take a look at it? It's okay, it's, it's okay, it's okay. I can't believe they say it's okay. Okay, now. The referee, John Thomas, asked the doctor, do you want to take a look at it? Listen. 